Have you ever wondered how to remove plaque at home without the need for a dentist visit? Well, let's start by understanding what plaque is. Plaque is a sticky, colorless film of bacteria that constantly forms on our teeth and along the gum line. It contains bacteria that cause cavities and gum disease. How does it form, you ask? When we eat food, especially those high in carbohydrates and sugars, the bacteria in our mouth break it down, and that process produces acids. These acids, combined with our saliva, form the plaque we're talking about. But why should we bother about it? Well, if left unchecked, plaque buildup can lead to serious oral health problems such as tooth decay, gum disease, and even tooth loss. That's why it's crucial to remove plaque regularly. Now that we know what plaque is and why it's important to remove it, let's dive into the actual process. Before we begin, gather the right tools. Remember, proper tools make any job easier. First up, the toothbrush. This is your main weapon against plaque. Choose one with soft bristles to avoid damaging your gums and enamel. Next in line is dental floss. This thin thread is your secret weapon to dislodge plaque hiding between your teeth. Don't underestimate the power of this slender ally. Moving on, we have mouthwash. This liquid guardian does more than just freshen your breath. It reaches and rinses away the plaque that your toothbrush and floss might have missed. Last, but by no means least, a dental scaler. This tool might look a bit intimidating, but with careful use, it can help you scrape off stubborn plaque that is clinging to your teeth. With these tools at your disposal, you're well equipped to combat plaque. Believe it or not, there's a right and wrong way to brush your teeth. You might think it's as simple as applying toothpaste to your brush and scrubbing away, but there's a science to it. It's all about technique, precision, and patience. So let's dive into the nitty gritty of proper brushing techniques. First things first, angle your brush at 45 degrees to your gums. This isn't just a random number plucked from thin air, there's a reason for it. At this angle, the bristles can slip into the space where your teeth meet your gums, that little nook where plaque loves to hide. Now, we're ready to start brushing. But hold on, this isn't a scrubbing contest. You're not trying to remove wall paint here. You're cleaning a delicate part of your body, so be gentle. Use small, circular movements and make sure you're covering all areas. The outer surfaces, the inner surfaces, and yes, the chewing surfaces too. And don't forget those hard-to-reach back teeth. They deserve some love as well. Brushing all sides of the teeth is crucial. Plaque is a sneaky enemy. It doesn't just hide on the surfaces you can see. It lurks on the inside of your teeth, between them, and even beneath your gum line. So when you're brushing, imagine you're a detective searching for hidden clues leave no tooth unturned. Lastly, let's talk about time. Two minutes. That's how long you should be brushing. Not one minute, not one and a half, but two full minutes. And no, that isn't the time to daydream. Stay focused on the task at hand. Each quadrant of your mouth deserves 30 seconds of your undivided attention. And one more thing. Don't forget your tongue. Yes, it's part of your oral hygiene routine too. Brushing your tongue can remove bacteria and freshen up your breath. Remember, brushing isn't a race. Take your time to do it right. Because when it comes to your oral health, every second counts. Next up, flossing. Yes, it's necessary, and here's how to do it correctly. So let's get down to business. Flossing is like your toothbrush's secret weapon, reaching those tricky spots that your toothbrush just can't. Think of it as your dental backup, always there to swoop in and rescue your teeth from the clutches of plaque. Now, it's important to know that flossing isn't simply a back and forth motion. No, it's much more than that. You see, flossing is a delicate dance, a subtle sway between your teeth. Begin by breaking off about 18 inches of floss. Wind most of it around your middle fingers, leaving an inch or two to work with. Then hold the floss tight between your thumbs and index fingers. Slide it gently up and down between your teeth. Don't rush it, take your time. Remember, this isn't a race. When you reach your gum line, curve the floss into a C shape against one tooth. Slide it into the space between your gums and your tooth until you feel some resistance. This is where the magic happens. This movement helps to dislodge any hidden plaque or food particles. But that's not all. You've got to repeat this process for each tooth. Yes, each one. Be sure to use a fresh section of floss as you move from tooth to tooth. And don't forget the backside of your last tooth. It's often overlooked, but it's just as important. Now you might be wondering, why all this effort? Well, Flossing daily helps to prevent gum disease and tooth decay. It's a small task that makes a big difference in maintaining your oral health. And there you have it, 
the art of flossing. It's not just about getting rid of that annoying piece of spinach from lunch. It's about taking control of your health, one tooth at a time. Flossing might seem tedious, but it's a crucial step in keeping your teeth plaque-free. You've brushed, you've flossed, now it's time to rinse. This final step is crucial in your war against plaque. Rinsing with mouthwash is like sending in the cavalry. It swoops in, reaching those areas that your toothbrush and floss might have missed. Mouthwash is more than a breath freshener. It's a dental superhero, combating the villainous bacteria that can lead to gum disease and tooth decay. It also helps wash away any remaining plaque, leaving your mouth truly clean. So how do you harness the power of mouthwash? It's simple. Pour the recommended amount into the cap or a cup, usually about 20 milliliters. Swish it around your mouth for about 30 seconds, making sure it reaches every corner. Then spit it out. Don't swallow it and try not to eat or drink anything for about 30 minutes afterwards to let the mouthwash do its magic. Rinsing with mouthwash not only gives you fresh breath, but it also helps to kill bacteria and remove any remaining plaque. Meet your new best friend in the fight against plaque, the dental scaler. A dental scaler is a compact, handheld tool that dentists use to remove plaque and tartar from teeth. And the good news is, you can use one too. It's a simple instrument with a curved, pointed tip designed to reach the nooks and crannies of your teeth where a toothbrush might not reach. While a dental scaler might look a bit intimidating at first glance, it's not difficult to use at home with a bit of practice. Here's how to do it safely. First, it's crucial to maintain a gentle touch. You don't want to scrape your teeth like you're trying to chip off paint from an old wall. Instead, think of it more like delicately brushing off some dust from a cherished antique. To use a dental scaler, position the curved pointed tip at a 45 degree angle to the gum line. Gently scrape away the plaque, moving the scaler from the gum line towards the biting edge of the tooth. It's important to keep the scaler's tip pointed down and away from the gum tissue to avoid causing any injury. A dental scaler is particularly useful for those hard to reach areas, like the back molars and in between teeth. Remember, the goal isn't to scrape away all the plaque in one session, but to gradually and gently remove it over time. While using a dental scaler can be a great addition to your oral care routine, it's important to remember that it doesn't replace the need for regular brushing and flossing. Think of it as an extra line of defense against plaque and tartar buildup, not a substitute for daily oral hygiene. In conclusion, a dental scaler can be an effective tool in your arsenal against plaque. But like any tool, it's all about how you use it. So go ahead, give it a try, but remember to be gentle, patient, and consistent. A dental scaler is a great tool, but remember, it doesn't replace regular brushing and flossing. So, you've learned how to wage war against plaque at home. Let's quickly recap what we've been through. We started with the importance of having the right tools, a good toothbrush and the right toothpaste. Then we went over the art of brushing, ensuring every nook and cranny of your teeth gets the attention it deserves. Next, we tackled flossing, the unsung hero in our fight against plaque. It's not just about wedging a piece of string between your teeth, but about using it as a tool for thorough cleaning. We then discussed the role of mouthwash in rinsing away the loosened plaque and the importance of making this a regular habit. Finally, we introduced the dental scaler, a handy tool that can help you reach areas that brushing and flossing might miss. Remember, regular plaque removal is vital for your overall oral health. With these skills, you can keep your teeth healthy and plaque free. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful health tips.